The city of Hatsor is mentioned as a formidable enemy of Israel in the biblical books of Joshua and Judges. The Bible records that Hatsor was destroyed once by Joshua in a massive victory over an alliance of kingdoms led by Hatsor, and once again over 100 years later during the time of the judge Deborah. The city of Hatsor was located in northern Galilee, and its name means enclosed settlement. It overlooked a major trade route that marked its importance economically. And also overlooking a strategic valley, Hatsor was seen as critical to the defense of the central land from enemies in the north. Hatsor is believed to have been the largest city in ancient Canaan, boasting an upper city or tell of 30 acres and a lower city of over 170 acres, both of which were strongly fortified. Archaeology at the site of ancient Hatsor has revealed interesting biblical parallels, from fortification reforms during the days of King Solomon all the way back to the days of Joshua's invasion, the remnants are intriguing. The book of Joshua claims that the Israelites destroyed the city and then set it on fire. Indeed, there is evidence of complete and fiery destruction within the time frame of 1450 to 1400 BC, matching the time of Joshua's conquest. There is another later layer of fiery destruction that is even more interesting to Bible students. The evidence from this destruction, credited to Israel under Deborah and Barak, shows by smashed cultic articles and idols with heads and hands broken off that there was a marked goal of desecrating the temple precinct, a practice reminiscent of Deuteronomy 7 verse 5 that says, smash the standing pillars, cut down the Asherah poles, and burn up the carved images.